Dodge and Pinner. He's off to the woods. If you're that curious to see why he should comfy car and wander off through leafy glades, follow him. Oh, who wants to follow a botanist? But in fact, his hunt is not in the cause of botany. He picks up twigs and pieces of bark for a very different reason. This chap's quite the artist, taking them back to his office to fashion into fabulous jewelry. Andrew Greener has built up a big in the field of jewelry design. He's established eminence in a world of sophistication through humble twigs. Take these twigs, for example, as Andrew Greener's craftsman will, to use in making a mold. Nothing particularly difficult at this stage, but then most sensational ideas are successful simply because no one else has thought of them. Plaster of Paris is now mixed up into a smooth consistency and poured over the twigs. That's the last anyone will see of those same twigs. Inside the cylinders, they're well and truly cooked in an oven. Cooked, in fact, to a frazzle, to nothing. All we've got now is the plaster shape they left behind. Now gold has to be melted and forced into the cavity left by the gone forever twig. A flame gun performs this operation, and the secret of Andrew Greemer's jewelry is about to be unfolded. For the molten gold is spun into every part of the mold a process that bears witness to Andrew Greemer's former training as an engineer. The plaster of Paris is washed away. And now a golden twig is before you. Now golden, now craftsmanship comes into its own. Eye-pinching care that means spectacles for everyone engaged in mounting rare gems. the art of Andrew Greenman, the man with the Midas touch, who transforms simple twigs into gold, who allies himself with nature for inspirations costing up to 10,000 pounds. Here is adornment which you will only see at the most elegant of assemblies, based on the simplicities of nature. But what goes on at what we call an elegant assembly that's so different to any youngsters gathering? Let's go to one and have a look. <laughs> 